Yes, $1,400 payments coming tomorrow. SSA, SSI, SSDI payments. Social Security provides a crucial lifeline for millions of retired and disabled Americans each month. Recent legislative action and an upcoming change in benefit distribution dates necessitate updates for beneficiaries. This report will outline the current Social Security landscape and explore proposals to strengthen this critical program for current and future recipients. November Benefit Dates Certain Social Security beneficiaries will receive two payments in November of 2024 due to the December payment falling on a Sunday. This includes an initial payment distributed tomorrow on November 1st and a second payment on the last Friday of the month. The reason for the split distribution is to ensure recipients receive their full monthly benefit in a timely manner, even when the normal payment date is impacted by a weekend or holiday. An estimated 65 million Americans rely on Social Security each month, so any disruption could significantly impact their well-being and finances. Distributing a portion of benefits a few weeks early helps avoid this situation. The Social Security Fairness Act. Over the past year, bipartisan efforts have sought to repeal an oft-criticized offset that reduces the benefits of some Social Security recipients. The Windfall Elimination Provision, WEP, currently reduces the benefits of individuals who earned a pension under a system that did not require Social Security taxes and also qualify for Social Security either as a worker or as a family member of an insured worker. The WEP can decrease the Social Security benefit by as much as 60%. In 2024, the Social Security Fairness Act gained strong bipartisan support in both the House and Senate. If passed into law, it would fully repeal the WEP over a five-year phase-out period. Based on estimates from the Social Security Administration, repealing the WEP could result in benefit increases averaging over $100 per month for roughly 3 million Americans. For some of the lowest income recipients, the boost could be substantially higher. While there was bipartisan consensus on addressing the inequities of the WEP, political gridlock stalled passage of the Fairness Act in the previous session of Congress. However, advocates remain optimistic it will receive consideration when lawmakers return to Washington in January of 2025. With Democrats retaining control of both chambers of Congress in the recent midterm elections, the prospects for repealing the WF appear favorable if it remains a priority next session. Stimulus Checks for Beneficiaries In November of 2024, the Social Security Administration began issuing additional $1,400 stimulus payments authorized by Congress to help ease economic hardship among some of the most vulnerable groups. Specifically, these one-time checks targeted Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs, VA beneficiaries who did not receive the full stimulus amounts sent to most taxpayers in prior COVID relief legislation. Initial distribution of the checks was focused on those receiving SSI benefits, with paper checks mailed to beneficiaries not yet signed up for direct deposit. The SSA estimated all payments would be issued within the coming weeks. For many on fixed incomes, this extra financial support provided welcome relief as inflation pushed up the costs of basics like food and fuel. It also helped address the fact that pandemic aid programs did not fully cover certain low-income individuals reliant on disability and longevity benefits. The Path Forward for Social Security Looking ahead to 2025 and beyond, policymakers face important decisions around strengthening Social Security for current and future generations of retirees, survivors, and disabled Americans. The program's trustees project the Old Age and Survivors Insurance, OAI, and Disability Insurance, DI, trust fund reserves will be depleted in 2034 if no legislative action is taken. Once the combined reserves are exhausted, continuing tax income would be sufficient to pay 80% of scheduled benefits. To avoid steep benefit cuts or tax increases down the road, bipartisan consensus will likely be needed to pass reforms solving Social Security's long-term financing challenges. Options under consideration include gradually increasing the full retirement age, raising the payroll tax rate, applying the payroll tax to all wage earnings above the current maximum taxable earnings cap, or using general revenues to help shore up trust fund reserves. There are also proposals to calculate initial benefits using inflation-indexed average lifetime earnings rather than a five-year average. However, changes of any kind will be difficult given deep ideological divides in Congress. 
finding a balanced package of adjustments that preserves benefits for current and future low-income retirees while putting Social Security on solid footing for 75 years or more will require political will and compromise. Success would mean millions more Americans can rely on the program's guaranteed monthly support well into the future when their own savings run out. Failure could have serious negative impacts, especially for the most vulnerable elders. In this report provided updates on upcoming Social Security benefit distribution dates, progress addressing the WEP through legislation, additional economic impact payments for beneficiaries, an overview of financing challenges, and some options under consideration to strengthen Social Security for decades to come. Ensuring the program's long-term solvency through bipartisan cooperation will be crucial for both current and future generations who depend on these essential monthly benefits. The well-being of millions hangs in the balance. Options to strengthen Social Security's financing. With the program's trustees projecting trust fund depletion in just over a decade, policymakers must seriously consider reforms to place Social Security on a sustainable fiscal path for generations to come. Here is a deeper examination of some of the leading proposals under discussion. Gradually raising the full retirement age. One approach favored by some is to gradually increase the age at which individuals become eligible for full, unreduced retirement benefits. The current full retirement age is 67 for those born in 1960 or later. Proponents argue this should be gradually raised further to account for significant gains in life expectancy since Social Security was founded. However, critics note this disproportionately impacts those with physically demanding jobs or less education who often cannot work as long. It could also exacerbate existing inequities, as lower-income Americans on average do not live as long as higher earners and are less able to work into their late 60s or beyond. Gradual increases that give younger workers decades of advance notice to plan would help soften the impact. But raising the age is still likely to face resistance without complementary protections. Raising the payroll tax rate. Another centrist option is to raise the payroll tax rate that funds Social Security over time. The current combined employer-employee tax of 12.4% could be gradually lifted by a fraction of a percentage point each year. Proponents argue this is preferable to steep benefit cuts down the road and spreads responsibility across all taxpayers rather than targeting only future retirees. However, conservatives and business groups strongly oppose tax hikes and higher taxes on wages could curb job growth at a time when inflation is already squeezing consumers. Taxing all earnings above the wage base limit. More progressive plans propose applying the payroll tax to all wage earnings above the current maximum taxable amount, which in 2025 is $160,200. Under current law, wages above this threshold avoid Social Security taxes entirely. Supporters argue the earnings cap exemption mostly benefits the wealthy and fails to cover escalating income inequality. However, opponents counter this amounts to a substantial tax increase on higher income workers that could reduce investment and overall economic activity. There are also concerns wealthy individuals may try to shield income through other means to avoid the additional tax liability.